Hey guys, it's Sam here from Core Electronics and today we're going to be taking a look at getting started with the particle IDE. Now IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment um, and it's pretty much the way that you program your board, the way that you write your code, um, it's where you manage your libraries, um, all that kind of thing. So the particle IDE is completely cloud based, it's fantastic keeps all your applications up there, um, all the libraries, um, you know, it can keep track of your devices, um, you can flash to your photon electron over the air. Um, for more information on actually um, working with the particle photon and the particle electron individually, check out our specific tutorials for that. This is going to be more of a look at, um, you know, uh, sort of a walk through the IDE and how we can actually flash over the air our, our applications. Um, so. Yeah, we'll have a look and we're going to go to build.particle.io. Um, so build.particle.io. And the particle uh, team have actually made it so easy to get started um, with writing code. Uh, it uses the same software abstraction, wiring, uh, as Arduino. So, you know, your functions like uh, digital write, digital read, um, you know, the loop, um, you know, you set up. Um, void setup and void loop, um, they're all exactly the same. You can pretty much port Arduino code almost uh, line for line over to this um, with very few changes. So I'm going to have a look and I've got loaded up um, an app here called Blink Demo and it's pretty much the hello world of, um, of programs. Uh, but before we go into that we'll actually just have a look at um, the particle IDE window. So there's two main sections here. We've got our, um, got our, kind of our coding workspace here. Um, and this is where we write our code, where we're going to, um, you know, get compilation uh, messages, um, you know, be able to view the library code, things like that. Um, and then you've got your, your sort of your menu in your menu panel, I guess. Um, so here it's going to show, um, you know, all the info of the tab you're on, and you've got your uh, code tab, which we're on at the moment. Uh, you've got your library tab, so you can search for libraries. Um, you can put libraries in, um, you know, in your apps, things like that. So, you know, we can look through, oh, we can look through um, the libraries. Now, the libraries are actually community driven, so lots of people can upload libraries. It can tell you how many people are using it. So, uh, you know, you can actually find a really popular library that's probably going to work. Um, you've got devices, uh, docs link, so you, you can see your, uh, all your different devices and the status info of those, so whether they're online, um, the name of your individual device. Um, I can see which one I'm targeting, whether a photon or an electron or a, uh, a core, it's an older board. Um, go to the console and view our, uh, our settings. So that's sort of everything we can do with the IDE. Um, now it's fantastic, all you need to do is log in with your Particle account. If you haven't made one, go to particle.io um, and sign up. It manages the, uh, the Particle Cloud platform, the app, um, your devices, the command line interface, everything. So. So I've kind of got here, it's two main sections, one and two and three is really just an extension of that menu bar. Um, you know, it's where you're actually selecting what's going on in the menu bar, I've just sort of highlighted them differently so you can see, um, you know, see what's going on there. Um, so we'll look at our, you know, how we actually can manage our code in here. So there's a few main features. Uh, up the top here, you've got your flash button, you've got verify and you've got save. Now saving obviously, you know, saves a copy of your code um, to the cloud. Verify um, goes through and attempts to compile your code. So make sure that, um, you know, it's able to run, that there's not a syntax error or something that's gonna break your code and stop it from running. So uh, we can take this code here and just click uh, verify and it'll take a few minutes, just a few seconds, sorry, not a few minutes. Yeah, verified, great work, which means it's ready to, uh, to upload. And then the flash button is uh, actually gonna flash your um, your code to the device. Now as you can see I've got an electron board targeted at the moment and with the electron because you do have to uh, you know work with data usage and it does cost um, you know per uh, megabyte for the data you're using um, I recommend staying away from flashing over the air unless you a have lots of data, two you don't care um, or um, you know you just can't be bothered using the command line interface but if we go flash you'll actually recognize that and say hey you know, you're gonna use some, you know, use a few KB from your data plan and it'll just give you a warning. If you wanna look at uh, how you can use the command line interface to flash to your Electron, check out our specific uh, getting started with Electron tutorial. Um, and for now, we're gonna change that to Photon Margaret. Uh, 
I like naming my boards after uh, unique Australian names, kind of my thing. Um, and I'm going to target that device. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, connect it up to power. So I'm just using USB power here. Um, all right. So I've got a previous. Uh, I've already, I've already got this. Um, I think a Tinker is on this particular um, photon. And in fact, it might not be Margaret that's selected here. I think it's. I know it is Margaret. Yeah. Just running a different, uh, different piece of firmware there. So we're gonna uh, go back, and so that's the IDE, um, and now we can pretty much just uh, flush our code. So the code's here. So if you just copy and paste that into your, uh, into your IDE, I've actually already got it here, but I'll go through the process. Yeah. So copy that in. We don't need to use any libraries, anything like that. Um, and we're gonna go through, and now we can flush it. So um, when you click verify, um, that's compile, you know, compiling and checking without flashing. But when you click flash, it'll also go through that compilation pro process. Um, it's pretty much, so you don't really need to click both. If you're gonna flash, we can just click flash. And because it's a photon, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter that it's uh, flashing over the air. And so it's just taking a moment to compile. We can see the, uh, the status LED here connecting to the network and it's running our code. Super easy, that's the hello world of our microcontrollers, blinking the LED on and off, the onboard LED. It's nothing too complicated going on, we're just declaring our LED as, as a variable, um, setting it as an output, and then we're setting it high, waiting for half a second, setting it low, waiting for half a second, rinse and repeat. Um, and there we go, that's uh, getting started with the particle IDE. Um, we're using build.particle.io, the sub sort of domain of particle uh, IO. And yeah, that's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Take a look at uh, some of our other tutorials. Um, go through working with displays, graphic, character, great project ideas. Um, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Have a great day. I'm Sam. Thanks for watching.